Hey, everybody, good afternoon. Oh man, Animal Crossing. I haven't played this in like so long. I, I think uh, the last time I played was before the Halloween update last year. Um, yeah, I, when I first started streaming, I was doing a lot of Animal Crossing just because, you know, I had it and there's a lot to do in it. So I was doing pretty much like once a week or whatever. I realize my settings are a little wrong here. Hold on, let me see if I can fix that. <coughs> I want to make sure I am up to date. Hello, Thomas. Hello, Iggy. This is where I tag on important requests related to settings. The requests I accept here are very serious ones, so children should get help from a parent or guardian. Now, how can I help you today? Uh... Ooh, no, I'm done. Yes, yes, I understand. In that case, let's return you to the tile screen. I hope you continue to enjoy life on Candy Isle. Oh yeah, Candy Isle. Ah, good times. Alright. We're gonna we're gonna have a lot to clean up, I'm pretty sure. A lot to clean up. I've really neglected my island for quite a while. Uh hold on, I think I need to actually go in here. I'm pretty sure I'm set. I have my settings correct. Date and time yeah, date and time is correct. Hmm. Oh, that's actually, that's probably just the last time it saved a backup of the island, huh? Oh, here we go. It's gonna be hard on my emotions. I'm gonna... Gonna have to talk to everybody that I've abandoned for so long. Oh well. I had to come back eventually. Hopefully that's their attitude too. Just recorded a ton of board game unboxing as I think I'm up to like up to 11 videos worth of unboxings which is just, you know quite a bit mm. so we're gonna yeah go check out my YouTube Iggy and the Ape to uh, see some of that oh cute little sweater hello there everyone right now on Candy Isle it's 3.02 p.m. on Thursday November 4th 2021 today is also Lucky's birthday oh hey good timing Happy birthday! Now for additional announcements. First, I have an ordinance update. I'm happy to announce the special rules called ordinances can now be enacted here on Candy Isle. Ordinances are a great way to help improve the everyday lives of all of our residents. They are quite a lot of responsibility, however, and anyone enacting one should understand everyone's needs. That's why our resident rep, Iggy, will be in charge of ordinances on Candy Isle. How exciting! Iggy, if you're listening, I can't wait to see what you'll change. If anyone has any questions about ordinances, please come and see me at Resident Services. Moving on, I'd like to tell everyone about a new kind of tour available. Starting today, residents can go on a boat tour to uninhabited islands. These tours are a little different than the ones they offer at the airport. You'll get to board a boat and enjoy the ocean breeze as you make your way to your destination. There are lots of uninhabited islands out there that can only be reached by boat. Rumor has it there are plenty of DIY materials on these islands, and even strange things buried in the ground. Sounds mysterious, doesn't it? These boat tours are available once a day using miles. Interested residents should head down to the island pier and speak to the boat captain. That's all for today. Have a fun day out there. Thanks, Isabel. I'll do my best. Oh geez, I'm all messy. It's been a while. There we go, tidied up. Looking cozy. Oh jeez, I'm gonna have so much mail. What do we got? Changing exterior. Storage. In ABD. Harvey. Cool. Harvey. Uh, throw that away. His bow. Oh, bow! I haven't seen you in so long. My precious boy. Precious, precious boy. Uh, it's been a year. Oh man, I wasn't here for my anniversary. That's unfortunate. Uh, ooh, some cake. Nice. And I will uh, favorite that actually. Expand your storage. Cool. Bank of Nook. Uh, that's 
Yeah, I heard that's how uh how it uh maxes out. Rank B. Okay. Mom. Today you're one year older and one year wiser. You it's time to give broccoli another go? Hmm. No matter what, you'll always be my baby. Cool. Uh I've what kids actually dislike broccoli? Honestly, I've never once met a kid who doesn't like broccoli. I've, I've only seen it in movies. Coconut soda. That sounds yummy. Hmm. That's quite cute, Quilson. Wow. Congrats. He thinks. Oof. So yeah, not touching it. I lost like 30,000 points, my goodness. Oh, Blake. Uh, oh. Huh. Wait, ah, oh, crap, I shouldn't have thrown away Quilson's letter, huh? I always keep, that's right, it's been so long, I've always used to keep their letters. Oh man, is there a way to get back? Is there a way to get it back? Nope. Dang it, I really messed up. Oh well. A bug. Nope. Get him. Come on. Get him. Get him. Hmm. Classic. Oh! Well, okay. Bo! Bo! Hey, it's Iggy, I haven't seen you in a long time. Still the same old me. I know for sure because I wrote my name in all of my underwear. Thank you, bud. All right, it's time to start cleaning up. So many weeds, so many weeds. Mushrooms. Nice. And I got a bell tree. Yeah, the trick I remember is just never do more than 10,000 because anything more than 10,000, there's like a chance that you'll only get 10,000 anyways, so you may as well just get a guaranteed extra 20,000 rather than waste your money, you know? Although I guess if you went with like 29,000 something, uh, no, how do I, there it is. Nice, a fossil. Classic. Yeah, I might not necessarily talk super much during this playthrough, partially because my voice is a bit tired. I've been working, doing a lot of recording work lately. Um, also because it's just, it's chill, it's relax. Yeah. I'll certainly respond to chat and everything. I'm not gonna just be silent, you know, but just, uh, just gonna chill, just gonna relax. job. Hold on. Hold on. Mm, let me see here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's see how, uh, if I can get this. Another 15 seconds. Apologies, work just has to come first on a weekday, you know? <coughs> I am an adult with responsibilities. Yeah? 
Ah, I didn't get it anyways. That's fine. All right. Let's keep on going. to remember all of the uh all of the controls. Oh jeez, there's so many weeds up in my flowers. No. My flowers really expanded out. Oh my goodness. They're way back here last time. Ah, oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Oh, and some shells. I really should have spread out this fruit grove, huh? this a little closer because I don't expect I'm going to be shouting or anything. This isn't a super exciting game. It's a very relaxing game, which is also very valid. <laughs> and it's Robin! I haven't spoken to Robin in all well, since I played last. Oh my, Iggy! When was the last time I saw you? It's been forever, darling! Returning home after so long... You must have so many things you want to do. I'll enjoy Candy Isle. It's a better place when you're in it. Oh my god. Uh, I really abandoned these kids for so dang long. I feel so bad about it, man. Oh, heck yeah. Hold on, I'll come back to Phoebe in a second. Right. And I don't have a backup net. I don't think. No, no, I have one of those. That's the the main reason I kind of stopped for a while. Is I just I did everything. I found it. You know. I don't know. There's just not a lot to do day to day once you get like most of the fossils and most of the other stuff. So I was just uh. Ah, I was kind of unhappy with it. But now with so much new stuff to do. Hold on now. Might have a job here. Ten more seconds. Yeah. Oh, didn't get it. That's fine. The thing is, I... The, my thing is always, I hope to do better early in the week, because then, if the rest of the week is slow, it's fine. Oh yeah, my uh, pill bug flag. Maybe I should update that. I should update that in my town theme, I think. That'd be cool. Um... Yeah, I, I, if I do better earlier in the week, I don't stress out if I do not so good the rest of the week. Here. Yes. Now let's pull out 10k. No, 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 look at the hole. Burying hole, there we go. 
All right, money tree to be had. Phoebe, well, I guess I finally lost my mind. I could swear I see reverb in front of me. It's a really, really, real looking mirage too. Like super real. Even kind of smells real, smoking. Too bad it's a mirage though. Rock to have reverb back. I miss him. That's me though. Phoebe, it's me. Still got more to say? Uh, oh, just saying hi. Just wanted to make sure that there wasn't like a follow up to that. Chick can. You are still new to my island. Brofina. Well, well, it's Iggy. Well, I haven't seen you in one year and one month. Maybe it's because you haven't been around, but the island just hasn't been the same lately. It's been so gloomy without you. I can hardly stand it. So thank you for returning home to us. Yeah, sorry. And of course, Kurt. Hey now, Iggy. A few of us were starting to wonder where you'd got to. How you been? The way you just disappeared ten months ago, we figured it was all some kind of hush-hush thing. I know a thing or two about keeping a secret, let me tell you. I think this one time that... Eh, almost had me. Ah, well, good to see you. Don't be a stranger. I won't, Kurt. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry I didn't mean to believe for so long. Thirsty. Got a pretty busy day so far. Pretty busy week in general. I'm exhausted. Ah, oh, it's nice to unwind with a little Animal Crossing. I'll be back around to do all the rocks and the trees and stuff. I just I want to get all of the uh, weeds out of the way first. I want to leave my pockets as open as possible for the weeds. Hey, hey Peggy. Peggy, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh, Iggy, I haven't seen you in forever. You have a different vibe about you. Have you been having adventures without me? Well, whatever, welcome back. And no more disappearing on me, okay? Oh, sorry. Don't be to scare away your bug. Mushrooms. Give me the mushrooms. Give me the mushrooms. Any other shells? Yeah. Message in a bottle. What do we got? I found a recipe in an old dinosaur book. Okay. Can I learn it? That is a new one, okay. Cool. I'm so used to those just being ones that I already know. Anniversary cake, nice. I do also st still gotta get a present for Lucky now that it's his birthday. Mmm, wharf roaches.
Hey, it's Cap'n. Heck yeah, I was always wondering what they were going to do with that dock. Seemed like a, a pretty big waste of space if it didn't have, like, a specific thing going on. I'll be back around to do that later. Today's just a cleanup. We're just cleaning up. Ballin. Ballin. Nope. Oh. There we go. And it is a mush lamp. Okay. Like a mushroom lamp? That sounds really cool. There's so many mushrooms all over the place. Nice. Da -da -da. Shovel. I dug up a fossil. Oh yeah, I should look up, uh, wait, no, it's DL. Nook Miles Plus, what do we got? I got some other rooms. The dice. Anything fresh in here? Nope. I should go through at some point and just like make sure to get all of those achievements. I'm pretty sure I said that last time I was playing this game a lot. Hey yo, what is up, evil? I mean, okay, I don't know why I'm saying, what is up, evil farter? I was like, maybe I can keep it, maybe I can avoid the gross thing, but then I remembered chat shows up on screen anyway, so. Uh, no, no chance of that. You've sullied my child-friendly stream. Nah, I don't care. Also, I don't think farts are inherently not child-friendly. I'll probably say evil just because all four syllables is a little much. Oop. I have a work thing. They keep popping up and I keep missing them. Just gotta wait another few seconds. In the meantime, I can always play this one-handed. Cause it's Animal Crossing, baby. It ain't hard. Pick it up, pick it up, pick up the branch. Tony Danza. That's also four syllables. I'm just trying to make it shorter, I don't know. It ain't a Nicholas name, it's a nickname, you know? Bam. Did I get it? Did, okay. I'm not just gonna jet away and do it right now, but I will have to uh, take a break in a bit. I usually take a break every uh, half hour, or every hour or so anyways. Some people say evil, some say farter, and some say evil farter. Some say if. Oh, wait, EF, I gotcha. <laughs> We just vibing. We are vibing. This is like the ultimate vibe game. Some people are like, oh, Stardew Valley is like a really good relaxing game. I don't think those people have played Stardew Valley. <laughs> that game is stressful. This game is pretty chill though. Real relaxing. It has been, yeah, somewhere around a year since I last played this. Definitely over a year since I uh, did it with any kind of actual like Gusto, like actually going through everything. Got you through COVID, yeah. It helped. It certainly helped. Um, having having something. This was honestly, it was one of the first games I streamed, just because it like it had so much content. It was something that I could basically come back to once a week at least. And it, it was pretty fun. I had a much worse capture card back then. Um, my capture is still not super great because I, I don't... My computer does not have great encoding currently, but... I plan to get a better computer eventually. In the meantime, the uh, Genki Shadowcast that I have now is a much better capture card overall than the, uh, the Elgato I had. If I had... I think it was like... 
if I upgraded the Elgato, it might have worked, but it would have been so much more expensive than the Shadow Cast that was like, I think, like 40 bucks? Pretty affordable. And really good if you want to play games on, like, on your computer, you know? Like, um, using their, their app or something. This is starting to sound sponsored. This is not sponsored. It is certainly assisted by the fact that I have the Shadow Cast, but it's not, not in any way sponsored. Eh, fine. Yeah, I had the HD 60S. I still have it. I haven't. I've been planning on selling it at some point, but I haven't gotten around to it. Um, and it just ah no, Elgato. Despite being like the main thing, the big thing when I was doing research is basically your capture card can only do so much. What, what, and even like your graphics card, it's like those can help with the game itself, but in terms of actually streaming, um, it comes down to the encoding. So like your CPU just needs to have enough space uh, on top of all the stuff it's doing to play games or to actually like run the capture card or whatever. Like on top of that, it needs to have enough CPU available to actually encode everything. So generally, if you're having like choppiness, like I get, that's my biggest thing is my frame rate will often like get really chunky. Um, or like, yeah, often pixelate, it's like encoding is what it comes down to. <coughs> uh oh, uh, nope, that's it. Slingshot, slingshot. Ah, oh, dang it. It's been too long since I've played this game. It's okay, it's okay, I can make it. Run, 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 run. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ah, no, it's over there. Ah, uh, that's one of the bell ones. Come on, let me get it, let me get it. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, thanks for, for tuning in, Evil. It was, uh, it was really good talking to you on that Loku and the Skeleton stream. Um. I didn't catch their stream today. I caught like the very beginning of it, but then I ended up having too much work. That's the big thing. I always want to hang out on like other people's streams and watch for a while. I, I always have a good time doing it. It's just like, ooh, it's, it, it takes some time. And I'm, I'm so, so busy, especially with the holidays coming up. I'm trying to like earn as much as I can because I'm going to be taking like a little over a week off to go visit family for the first time in like three years. And like, yeah, I just want to make sure that I can survive that, basically. Cause I make a decent amount of money, but it's all like work for higher stuff. Whoops. Sorry about that ad. Hey there, welcome to Able Sisters, where we sell fashions made lovingly by Claw. It's been a while. Ooh, this looks all right. That's a cute look. Hey, what's up? Iggy, what kind of clothing do you usually like? How would you describe your style? Ooh, I'll bet I know. You're all about, like, a green and white checkered pattern. Maybe on an apron? Babes, you're doing the thing where you think everyone is you again. All right, let's buy some new, new clothes. Seven ads? Sounds like a lot. I might have set it up wrong. I, yeah, it's supposed to, I thought it was supposed to tell me when an ad was coming up and everything. Hmm. Well, what do I want here? Head bandages. Let's get some pink ones of those. That's pretty cool. So it, it does, uh, it looks a little turban-ish. I don't know if that's, if that's cool necessarily. Uh, ooh, yeah, some tortoise specs, like my own. Mm-hmm. I already got plenty of high tops, I think. 
steel-toed boots for stomping the patriarchy. Some striped tights, nice. Mm. And then I need actually clothes, two-tone pants. Let's go with the blue, I like blue. And some kind of top, nylon jacket. I'm not really into that. I do like the cowboy shirts. Gotta get one of the matches. Hmm. Maybe the sweater? Uh-uh! Yeah, that looks alright. Let me... switch to that. Yeah, yeah, that looks cute. I like that. That's a great look on you. Thanks for coming by. How much time do I have left on this project? 30 minutes. That can't be right. Let me double check that. 24 minutes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Sorry about all the ads. I thought, I don't know. I I, th I set it up for like every, every half hour or so or some, I don't remember. It's been, it's been a bit since I set that up. I will, I'll have to go and double check those settings later. Okay, uh, let me actually drop off all my stuff my house. Oh yeah, and I gotta actually clean out the roaches. Well, thanks. I, I really appreciate it. I know I I hate ads too. I do, I'm not a fan, but like, I, you know, I don't really get enough subscriptions to be able to not do them. Yeah, I don't know. I've, I've certainly gotten viewers who are just like, oh, I hate ads! I don't know. I don't want it. I I will have them, but it's like I'd rather they not be that obnoxious or anything. Um. So, trying to trying to keep on top of it. the The main thing I notice when streaming is like I get my stream summary. The big thing I always notice is that uh, there's a huge difference between the concurrent viewers, like how many people are watching right now, and how many unique viewers. Like, sometimes there'll be like 15 unique viewers, but only like three people were actually hanging out the whole time. And it's like, I don't know if it's just overlapped correctly or what, but like, I always find it a little... Ah, I don't know. I, I was a little baffling. I try my best to make like an entertaining stream, but I guess people just hop in and immediately are like, nah, I'm good. Hmm? Yeah, get them. Any more. Gotta get rid of them all. I mean, I don't take it personal, it's just, That's true. That's true. Yeah, I don't... It's not like I take it personal, necessarily. I just, um... I just wish I understood why, you know? Like, I'm, I'm, I would always be happier with someone who's like, I hate this stream for this reason, and then leaves. But... Yeah. What? It's just people who just don't say anything. And I get that lurking is a thing and all that. I don't know. I just want to understand Twitch better. I, I've been doing it for like over a year now and it's like, I still feel like I don't fully know what I'm doing. I do my best, but I just feel like there's like some stuff I could be doing better. That's true, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Or like even me, when I like raid over to people, it's like I'll hang out for a minute and talk with them, but usually I leave within a few minutes just because I'll be too busy, so. I, I figure it's probably something like that.
That's fair. That's fair, yeah. Yeah, I know, like, a lot of my friends, you know, the couple of times they have actually showed up, uh, they'll just be like, I got hit with an ad, and it's like, I mean, yeah, dude, it's the internet. Get ad blocker. I, I do not blame anyone for having ad blocker. It's actually a security thing, for the most part, like, ads are a security risk for a lot of reasons. So, like, anybody saying they use ad blocker, like... Go for it, dude. I use Adblocker. Ain't nothing ain't nothing wrong with that. As long as you are enjoying the stream, that's all I really care about. My goodness, there's so many roaches in my place. Hmm. How much longer do I have on this project up here? Whoops, not a new tab. 19 minutes. Okay. I'll try and finish up all these roaches and then hop away to record that real quick. That's fair. Yeah, I, c I could probably loosen up the ad density. But then at the same time, it's like if I get so few viewers... I, I, I get what you mean, yeah, it's like maybe make less ads so that more people stick around, but at the same time, it's like if I get so few viewers, the more, like, to balance it out, like, having more ads will increase my possible revenue. I haven't even been able to make enough to do my first, like, withdrawal or anything, so, like, I'm just trying to get whatever I can, you know? Yeah, no, don't, don't, yeah, I'm not, like, offended. I don't feel like you're pushy or anything. I'm just, uh, I, I appreciate it. I appreciate the discussion, because it's, like, I don't know, for, for a lot of my streaming, because, you know, I didn't raid over to people because I didn't realize that was the thing I should have been doing, uh, I felt like I was in such isolation on Twitch. Like, I didn't, I didn't have a community. I wasn't really hearing from people. I didn't really know what the deal was. So being able to get some advice and such is is really helpful. I, I really appreciate it. Oh good, all the pesky cockroaches are gone. I feel so much better now. All right, um, I'm gonna leave you guys with this for a minute. I gotta go record this thing for work real quick. So I will be right back. Don't go anywhere. Don't touch the internet towel. Back with more Animal Crossing in just a minute.
All right, I'm back in the... Wait, what does the chat say? Well, I'm gone. You know my bean beans and drink my milk. My milk. My beans. Fine. I need them anyways. All right. Um, let's get back to it. Uh, let me change the music in here. I think I'm gonna redo my house at some point too. Super trolled. You got me. You got me. All right. But uh. Now let's see what we got. KK cruising. Oh, chill. Nice. Right. Let me think. What else do I... Oh, yeah, I need to drop my stuff off. That's the whole reason I went there. The next moose heart. Truth. Truth. Um. Gonna hang on to those. I'm gonna sell the shells. Uh, let's... Put that in storage. Put that in storage. Put that in storage. Ooh. Put that in storage. Um. Oh yeah, I'm gonna actually place that somewhere. Whoops. Uh, okay. Right, can't hang that on the wall, so we're gonna put it. Um, well, I'll keep it there for now. Tuck this away. Tuck that away. Sell all those. Uh, put that in storage. And do I have any more nets? Because I just used up the one. No, no, I do not. Oh, right, the clams are really useful, actually. Uh, I didn't get any clams, though, I guess. Fine, fine, fine. Uh, okay, I gotta go get a new net and sell some stuff and also run by the museum because I got a bunch of fossils. And it's Lucky's birthday. I gotta get him a present. So, let's not forget. Here I go. Oh yeah, and Brewster's here now, I think? Or he will be soon. No, he's not here yet, but maybe soon. Hmm, ah. Oh, hoot. oh dear, I didn't see you there, Iggy. Pardon me, I'm afraid I was quite lost in thought just now. You see, there is a matter which... Oh, actually, your timing is impeccable as ever. Perhaps you could help me. See, I was thinking of ways to draw more folks to our museum when I hit upon the idea of adding a cafe. So I tried to contact Brewster, an old friend of mine who also happens to be an experienced cafe manager. Unfortunately, it seems he's closed up shop and nobody appears to know where he's gone. However, in my search, I also caught wind of a newly unearthed group of gyroids. Brewster goes positively cuckoo over gyroids, you see, in much the same way as I do around fossils. I'd wager my very wings that Brewster has heard about these gyroids as well. Naturally, you can see where this is going. I'd like you to take up the search for Brewster. That is a photograph of Brewster. Should you find him, tell him I'd like him to come to Candy Isle. If it helps, the gyroids I mentioned earlier were all found on the islands near where Cap'n leads his tours. I'm sorry to burden you with this, but I hope you know you have my very confidence and my utmost gratitude. Good luck. I just need you to look at the fossils. Assess fossils. Ooh, what would you like me to assess? I'm all a flutter. All of these. 
all of these. Confirmed. Ooh, more than one I see. Let us take a closer look, shall we? Ooh, hooray! I found something that is not yet part of our esteemed collection. Oh, thank goodness. It's been so long since I've had a new one. It is magnificent indeed. You have a talent for finding the finest of fossils. Now, I do hope you will consider donating what you found. The cultural development of Candy Isle is a worthy endeavor indeed. In the meantime, I shall return these to you. But think on what I've said. The museum awaits. Might I help you with anything else? Yes, make a donation. Marvelous! What would you like to donate? Usthenopteron. Usthenopteron. Yes, I see, I see. Oh, ho, ho! Could it be? It is a Usthenopteron. Never thought I'd lay eyes upon such a well-preserved Usthenopteron. Dear me, I might, might I give you a short presentation on the topic? I am quite knowledgeable, you know. Please. Wonderful! Tis fascinating stuff, I assure you. Now, where to begin? The Usthenopteron is famous for being the link between fish and land animals long before dinosaurs. It seems to have had strong fins capable of pulling it around areas where the water was shallow. When most creatures lived in the sea, they dreamed of land. If not for them, we mightn't be here today! Imagine if we'd not left the oceans. How might fashion and music be different in an aquatic world? How would we resolve differences? Perhaps some sort of ink squirting contest for champions? And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Rest assured, all donations are displayed in a timely manner. You have my gratitude! Woohoo! Is it true? The final fossil has been found? That was the last one I was missing. Awesome! Okay, I'm gonna mark this then. Oh, man. It has, it has, indeed. Huzzah! Ah, uh, Iggy, before you took up the task, ours was but a bare bones collection. Ooh, ha ha! A bit of museum humor for you there. Ahem, yes, that is to say. Thank you for your commitment to collecting and donating fossils. Our humble museum's reputation is growing because of you. This may be a good time to bring up an idea I've had for some time now. I decided to have a series of posters made to celebrate the completion of our collections. I felt it would be a good way to show my gratitude to everyone for pitching in to grow this world-class museum. Once they're ready, I plan to send them out through the mail, so please do keep an eye on your mailbox. As each collection is completed, I'll have another poster printed, so keep your donations coming! Awesome. Awesome! Man. Yeah, I, I kept getting new fossil after new fossil and just never getting them finished. Finally, the last one! Oh, yep. Yeah. Let's check out the recipes. Cool, cool. Uh, ch mm, chat log. I'm not online, so I don't have the chat log. Huh. The audio went out for me. Hopefully it's still going for you guys. Alright. Oh yeah, get jacked, Peggy. Get jacked! Alright, and now, yes, let's go get... Let's go... Get a new net. And, uh, my mic sounds very good. Cool, okay. Yeah, can you hear the game audio still? Because, um, my monitor for it went out, so I can't hear it, but I, it looks on OBS like there should still be game audio. Uh, hello! Hello! Welcome to Nook's Cranny! Oh, there's no big one here? Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Audio is crispy. Is that, is that good? Very nice. Cool, cool. All right. Uh, flimsy net or, of course, star net. What mic I'm using? I'm using an MXL 991, um, which is... It, I'm pretty sure you can only get it in a set with the MXL 990, but it's still, like, under 100 bucks, so it's it's pretty affordable. You do have to have a, an actual XLR interface. Um, mint wrapping paper or brown. Let's go with mint. I can sell in singles or in bulk. I'll take one. Um, yeah, the, the big thing with this mic is that it's super cardioid, which means that it's 
all of the sort of reflections off of the walls and things that I might get, this doesn't pick up as many of those. Uh, the best thing would be hypercardioid, like a shotgun mic, like they use for the boom mic on a different movie sets. Those, like, cut out so much. Either that or, like, a dynamic mic. The Shure SM7B is really great for that. Um, or the, the SM50... SM58, I think, right? SM57. I don't have one, but that those ones also work okay. Uh, they don't sound quite as nice. Um, and also I have, like, a little bit of sound treatment. Not a ton, but, like, a little bit. A little bit of that super cardioid mic works really good together. Gnome TV. Ooh, TV. Oh, no, it's a karaoke system. Let's see, that's 58,000. Ah, uh, I don't have 58,000 on me. 57, 58, yep, yep. Yeah, I've been meaning to get one, because, like, they're not super expensive, and they are pretty useful for a lot of things, but just, yeah. USB mic is, is fine for the most part. Uh, suppression slash noise gates. I use, um, through OBS. Uh, let's see. Through OBS I have... Let's see, I have an expander, a compressor, and a limiter on my mic. And then I have on the, uh, game audio, I have a compressor that is auto-ducking. So you may notice when I speak, the game audio will quiet down. Um, I have that all set up. Uh, kind of. It's also, I have an Audient ID14. If you have an XLR mic like mine, um, the, uh, oops. Oh, can I go in? Yes, there we go. Um, the interface, like the, the space you're in, then the interface, then the mic. So the mic is actually the least important part of it for how good your quality is. Oh, the expander limiter settings. I can actually just explain those really quick. It's pretty simple. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for that. I, I I, am an audio professional. I'm actually a voice actor by profession. When I, like, stepped away to record, I was recording a, uh, a concert announcement ad. But, uh, yeah, I can explain the expander limiter pretty simply. Like, the expander, basically, it just takes everything, like the, the background noise, and just crushes it down. So, um, you basically want to, like, not speak, look at where your background noise is coming up to, and then set that as the threshold, and then turn the ratio to, like, 4 to 1, 3 to 1, 4 to 1, something like that. It's basically, like, every time it goes over the threshold, so mine's a negative 50, for every, uh, I have it set to 4 to 1, so every 4 decibels it goes over negative 50, it will s crush those down to 1 decibel. So that gets rid of a lot of the background noise. And then for the limiter, it basically just, you set it where you want it to go. I I just have it negative one. So if I was going to clip like it was going to hit the top, it'll just stop it before it gets a chance to do that. And then the compressor, it's similar to the, ex it's basically the same as the expander, but it's just to like, you know, if you get like, start getting too loud, it just turns you down a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I've spent a great deal on my audio. If nothing else, I have good audio on my streams. Uh, say, I sent you a notice about the, this through the mail already, but you can expand your home storage even further now. Exciting, hmm? Just like last time, you'll need to pay the construction fees up front. With a few additional upgrades, we can boost, you could boost your maximum storage by a considerable amount. So if you want to expand your home storage even further, come find me so we can talk about your home. Let me actually add a stream marker. I want to highlight the uh, everything I just said about audio. And then I need to pull out some money. How much money did I have? Day one, 50. Yeah, I need to start coming back daily. Um, Let's see, the ABD. We're going to withdraw, yep, almost 10 million bells. I had some good times with the uh, turnips. Back in the day. And then let's go uh, redeem Nook Miles, see if anything cool is happening. Bone case kit. Be a chef. 
Absolutely, redeem. All right. Mm, download an apps. Your app has been updated. Thank you for using the Nook Stop. Oh cool, my DIY Recipes app was upgraded to DIY Recipes Plus. Time to find a kitchen and get cooking. Heck yeah, I love cooking. Welcome to next stop. Let me see if there's anything else to redeem. Uh, okay. Redeem 2,000 miles for that, of course. Hey, oh, welcome back. But yeah, um, I don't know how much of my explanation of the expander limiter you were able to ca catch. Yeah, it's the, th the thing with audio is that it's like pretty much it's always going to have the same effects available. So once you once you get them, you can pretty much apply them anywhere. Um, so what I'd recommend the thing that really helped me figure out audio stuff uh, sounds like I'm isolated. Yeah, I mean, that's, like I said, it's like the super cardioid, cuts out a ton of the stuff, and the, um, the, the light treatment on the walls, I basically just have, like, blankets and, the various blankets and stuff, like, pinned to the walls, like, those together makes it sound pretty, pretty good. But uh, the thing I'd recommend is there's a channel on YouTube called Open Book Audio. It's like a, an audiobook company. And they have a series on recording an audiobook. And, you know, you don't have to follow all of it, but the way they explain how to do the effects on audio really broke it down well. Yeah, absolutely. That's what I'm saying is, like, I... I <laughs> If nothing else, like, my my video, because I don't have, like, a super powerful computer, might not always be great, but I try and always at least have decent audio, since it's something I know. Yeah, open book audio. Just look it up on, look up open book audio, uh, how to record audiobooks, I think? It's like a playlist on their channel, but it's on YouTube. It's, it's from a while back, so, like, the, the gear and stuff they talk about might be a little outdated, but they got some great stuff about, like, you know, doing audio treatment to get your room sounding good and editing your stuff well, so check it out. So it's not too long of a series, probably take like an hour or so to watch. Um, I don't really need that. Uh, oh, yeah, of course I want all of this. Redeemed. Shoot, I, I'm gonna come back and do this. I really gotta get by Lucky's before I forget again. Order has been printed. Huh, okay. I see, this totally makes sense. I got my pro decorating license. Now I can use accent walls and ceiling items to realize my vision. Yeah, the, the big things... <laughs> Bogo's been to... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Holy crap, we always, at my place, we always quote that at each other. Um, all right, gotta buy Lucky's present. Right, right, right. Uh, but for like, basically with audio, it's like your room, then your interface, then your mic. So the room, um, you can actually listen. Like this same microphone in my living room sounds way different. If you listen to my uh, Jack and Daxter playthrough videos, you'll hear the difference on that. Um, so like, you know, you can you can hear the difference there. And then the thing with the interface is that it's gonna be, um, it's, it's gonna include an audio to digital converter and, and a preamp. And so, when you get a USB mic, all of that stuff is just crammed into the mic, so they can't always have very high quality ones. There are some solid USB mics, and like, for streaming, it's they're pretty much fine, but it's like, I already had all this stuff, you know, for work, so I figured I'd use it to its full potential. All right, let me, 
Hold on. There it is. Let me wrap up the uh, karaoke system. And then we're going to go to Lucky's. Where's Lucky live? Oh, God. It's been so long. Snap. Where's he at? Uh, Lucky lives over there. Cool. Let's go give him a present. Here we go. Here we go. It's... I mean, you don't necessarily need a mixer. I would recommend, like, the Audience series, because it's literally just you plug... You plug your mic in, you USB it over to your computer. It's, like, two knobs. One of them just makes the mic louder, one of them just makes, like, your headphones louder. That's it. Super simple. You know? Oh, wow, it's Iggy! Did you come to celebrate my birthday? Rouch! You best believe it, Lucky. Have your present. Birthday parties are real fun. They're all about cakes and presents. Oh, come on. Don't tease me, Iggy. Do you have a present for me? Surprise! Here you go. I hope he likes it. I wonder what it is. <laughs> I'm so excited. Wow, like, wh what? This is a karaoke system, right? I never dreamed I'd get something so darn neat. Wow, thank you so much. Rouch. Thanks for the gift. Rouch. What a real great birthday. Oh, yeah, let's dance with him. Hold on, how do I... Yeah. Delight. Do I have dances? Do I have dances? Uh... Gotta go here. Dance, dance, dance. Where's the dance? Oh, did I never get the dance one? Glee. Glee's pretty close. Do I not have one for dancing? Uh... Ah... Oh, we'll go with Glee. Yeah! We're bopping. Heck yeah! Glad Quilson showed up. Quilson, ah, I see you made the guest list for the big lucky birthday bash as all. It's not the most exclusive event on Candy Isle, but that's cool. We're all here to celebrate. I basically just went with Daffy Duck with that. Oh, well. I, I gave some of them voices when I first did this, but I was, like, not really doing voices yet for my streams when I used to play this. Hey, hold up, Iggy. I want to tell you a thing. Thanks for coming today, buddy. I really dug the present, too. Come over and chill any time. I imagine him being kind of... He's got, like, kind of the d little thing going on sometimes because he's always getting sick. All right, now we're going to shake some trees. Got to keep this out. All right. Yeah, it's... I mean, okay, the XLR is more difficult, but my, my big thing with USB, as someone who knows audio, is that it's not... How do I put this? The ones that are worth getting are expensive enough that you could have just gotten an XL XLR mic and a decent interface. Get him, get him. Yeah. So, budget-wise, like, the, 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 the big one everybody gets because, you know, it's, 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 it's marketing is the Blue Yeti. The Blue Yeti is not a good microphone. Sorry for anybody out there who has them, if that's what you have, evil. Sorry to say, it's just not a very good microphone. For the price, let's be clear, it's a fine microphone. As long as you, if you treat your space well, like make sure that you, you know, cut out all the reverb and stuff, Blue Yeti can be okay for like Twitch or YouTube or something. Certainly wouldn't use it on like a professional project. Like I do, but I mean, I I have very expensive equipment because I know how to use it. That's always the big thing is like, don't get anything more ex more expensive than you know how to use because if you don't know wh why it's better, then like you're kind of just wasting money because you don't know if you're getting anything better. Um, the, the thing with the Blue Yeti is if you get it used, it's fine. But for the full price, they're like, what, 120? They're like, that's so much for what is really a toy microphone. If you get it for like 80, I'd say that's fine. But like, over a hundred bucks, they're way too expensive. 
compared to like, there are even better USB microphones for cheaper than that. The Blue Yeti itself, it's just, it's, it's, it's a lot of marketing that makes, that makes that all go. Um, hmm. Just want to get limiters and stuff like that. I mean, for streaming and stuff, you can, most of that stuff is built in. Like, you can use digital limiters. You don't necessarily need to get, like, a physical limiter box or anything. Yeah, for music, it's different for music, too. For, like, spoken word stuff, like, you know, Twitch or voice acting, you do have to be, like, voice acting is the most particular. Like, you have to have super professional audio, it has to sound super dry, you know, not wet or anything. But for music, you can kind of fudge it, you can get creative and, like, use reverb in different ways. And for, like, Twitch, YouTube, whatever, you know, social media, something it's like it doesn't have to be that big of a deal as long as the people can hear you my big thing is always like try and treat if you can but for the most part just make sure you're positioned correctly so that the mic hears you before it hears your voice bouncing off the walls so that people can at least understand you you know uh, I have some SM57 and SM58s yeah those are probably okay too that's fair yeah I mean if you have the Blue Yeti already like if if I can get to someone before they buy a Blue Yeti, I will always tell them, like, don't, don't get that. But, um, if you already have one, it's fine. It, it works. You know, it's, there's certainly much worse you could have gotten. Um. Yeah, 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 yeah. I might be able to get some good stuff here. Mm -hmm. Maybe some gold. Nope. Oh well. Yeah. I mean, okay. My big thing is that there's there are like interfaces that are thing. Like this is something when I first watched Loco and the Skeleton, I tried to kind of convey to them through chat, but I don't think I necessarily got it through. Is that their audio is okay? But the big thing that's holding it back is that the mic is so clearly pretty far away from them. So you hear a lot of the reverb from the room before you actually hear them. And that's that's not great. I mean, it's okay for a stream. And it's definitely, you can hear them, so it's not like the worst. But like, it's, I'm always, when I listen to them, just like, they just, a little closer, a little closer. Let them, the mic can be in on screen, it doesn't have to be off screen. You know, nobody's gonna care if they can see the mic, as long as they can hear the mic, you know? Um, yeah. My, my big tip is you should probably get, like, XLR at some point, but just, you know, just do some research. I'd say the audience series I really like sounds really great. They're, you know, they're like middle range, which is pretty expensive. Audio equipment is all very expensive. But just if you get stuff used on eBay, it's pretty inexpensive, you know? As as far as like relative to how expensive it can get. Yeah, it's it's a little tricky for them being a duo. What what I would recommend if I could get them on like a call rather than trying to convey it through chat. Um I mean, I, I would say lapel mics, especially because they move around a lot. If they just got like a couple of lapel mics, um, which are, you know, pretty inexpensive for okay ones. And, uh, yeah, if, if they got a couple of those and like a decent mixer, you know, it would it would go a long way. It wouldn't be that hard to configure the settings, really. I don't know. It's often, at any time I get the chance, I I try and help people with their audio, but it's like it's really hard to convey a lot of it because if you can't hear the the big thing is if you don't have experience with it, you can't always hear what's wrong with it. 
I've had a lot of people that I've worked with who think that they have professional audio or trying to do voice acting and they're like, I don't get what's wrong. And I listen to them like, no, your audio sounds terrible. It does not sound professional at all. And like, that's a much higher standard, like I said. Like for Twitch, Loco and the Skeleton sounds great. It's fine. It's fine. Like you can hear them. You can understand what they're saying. That's fine. They could improve it, but like that's, it's like a low priority thing to begin with. Um, but like, the big thing is just being able to actually hear what's going on with your audio. With voice acting, yeah, with voice acting, if someone's trying to do that, m my thing is always like, listen to your audio, and then listen to something from the radio or from TV. If it doesn't sound like that, why not? Like literally, you can get broadcast quality audio from home, like I do. I literally just have a closet that I've turned into a booth and I can get broadcast quality audio from that. So all it takes, you know, it, it takes research, it takes time, you know, learning it, it takes some investment into the materials and stuff, but like, it's totally doable. And especially with voice acting specifically, it's like, if you wanna do it professionally, if you want to make a living off of it, you have to be willing to spend some money. Being a professional voice actor is starting a small business, basically. So you have to be willing to invest. And, like, the startup cops are not that expensive. Like, to get put together, like, a proper closet booth that's, like, broadcast quality? 500 bucks, maybe? Really not that expensive. It's just, like, you know... Just save up, man. I don't know. Save up for a few months and you can do it. I see so many people like spending like whatever tiny money they have buying like really mediocre quality stuff when they could have just saved up for a few months and gotten something way better to begin with. Hmm. Yeah, I've gone off about this. Actually, if you go, um, I have my archive channel which is linked down below on YouTube. If you go way back, I did a video. Uh, I did a stream explaining like a lot of this stuff for voiceover specifically, but like you could use a lot of that for streaming as well. Yeah. So, you know, recommend go checking that out. Um, and also, oh yeah, I also have a, a Discord. I don't know if, you know, you evil or anybody else who was lurking might want to check that out but I, I have a discord it's still pretty new but if you get in there and you want to ask me anything about audio when I have the time I'll, I'll totally like help out in any way I can it's just you know when I have the time I'm very busy uh, if I had 500 bucks um, I would spend probably I'd spend like 300 of that on the audio treatment. Like getting, uh, you know, um, audio, f uh, well, not so much foam, audio, like, panels or whatever materials to, like, get sound, like, a dead sound, and then, like, a hundred bucks on an interface, hundred bucks on a mic. Like seriously, you, if you you can get a decent XLR mic for a hundred bucks, you can get a decent interface for a hundred bucks. I I wouldn't really say foam and blankets necessarily for like Twitch. That's probably okay. Like that's what I right now I'm using just like blankets and such. And so with this microphone, that sounds that sounds good enough. Um, but uh. Yeah, I, w I would really recommend Rockwool or um, Fiberglass if you're trying to go, like, for full voiceover, like, to deaden it. But um, I'd say uh, if you were going to get blankets, like, producer blankets, they're a little more expensive. I think for, like, one of them, it's, like, 80 bucks. But they're pretty big. They're triple layered. And, like... Those, those actually do a solid amount. Uh, one thing I saw a guy do that I want to do at some point is he, he got regular moving blankets, but then he took, like, polyester foam, like you'd use for, like, 
stuffed toys or whatever, like a polyfill, and he, he like hot glued that, he like hot glued some like LED strips onto the blankets, and then he hot glued the polyfill to form these like clouds, right, that he could like change the color of, and he just like hung those up on a ceiling, so it looked really cool, and it sounded great. Uh, egg gardens are fine for, like, music. Yeah. I'd say, uh, egg gardens are, can be a bit thin. It depends on your voice. Like, if you have a really... If you have, like, a deep voice, you're gonna have to go a lot harder. Because more of your voice will be able to tear through thinner materials. Um, for my voice, I have a higher pitch voice. So, I'm able... I'm able to get away with a little less... A little thinner, but you still have to go it's kind of hard. <coughs> oh, jeez. My, vo my voice, speaking of, is getting a little worn out. I, I might not go on too much longer to kind of rest. I should have some water, actually. Ugh. Also, some of this. Um... What I'd re uh, for hanging stuff, if you rent, uh, what I'd re recommend are command strips. Like, they usually come with command hooks, but uh, command strips, if you use them correctly, be sure that you use them correctly, they won't damage wallpaper or paint or anything. If you use them incorrectly, and I have done that before, they can yank some stuff off. Yeah, yeah, and I'd actually recommend uh, look up booth junkie. The word booth the word junkie on YouTube, he has a ton of really, really great tutorials for affordable sound treatment. Like he has a tutorial on how to make a really affordable sound panels that you can just basically hang up on poster wire. So you could use command hooks, hang that up, and it will like, it will get you some great sound for pretty affordable. I mean, the fiberglass is definitely gonna be pretty expensive, or if you use rock wool. Pretty much the same thing. Um, but, like, overall, like, definitely check out his stuff. Not only did it teach me a lot about acoustics and everything, but uh, it's, it's also just, like, a really good way to just get some tips and tricks for, like, making your space really cool. Whoops. No thanks. No thanks. Come on. But yeah, I would say check out Booth Junkie and uh, all of that stuff. He also has a bunch of mic reviews and things. You know, focus focus on your audio treatment. And audio treatment doesn't even have to be something soft, like a bookshelf full of books. Like, all, all that really matters is that if there is any hard, flat surface that's parallel to another hard, flat surface, the sound is just going to bounce back and forth and sound really bad. So on either side of that parallel surface, just on one of those sides, if you put something that is either soft or uneven, or hopefully both, both would be the best option, it will break up that sound wave and it will cut out a lot of that reverb. So you really only need to like treat half of your space, really, as long as you just focus on like one side of any parallel area and it, it will do wonders. Of course, you know, acoustics are weird, so sometimes it still might not work. Or sometimes you don't even need to go as hard and it'll work great. You know, different spaces have different requirements and you just kind of got to fiddle around and every, every booth is a work in progress, as every voice actor will tell you. Um... Yeah, maybe I should make a, a channel in my Discord server about acoustics and stuff. I feel like some people would be interested in that. And it'd be a good place to keep all of the acoustics stuff so that I can uh, I can correct people if they say something wrong. Because I definitely, I'm in a lot of different acting and specifically voice acting groups. And I'll see people being like, what should I get? What should, uh, is this good? Is my booth good? And I'm just like... I see so many people responding with like the worst information because they don't know what they're talking about either. 
So it'd be, uh, yeah, it'd be good to just like make a set up a Q&A section on there where people can ask their questions and then I can come in and let them know what I can, you know? Obviously, without being in the room, it's a bit difficult. Of course, I'd have to make the caveat if you're asking about that that you include recordings, which I know some people are nervous about recording themselves, but it's like, if you're setting up audio, you gotta record yourself eventually. God, that's one of my biggest pet peeves, is, um, I follow a bunch of, uh, a lot of the voice acting subreddits, because sometimes people post up casting calls. But, uh, in the r slash voice acting, so often, people will be like, hey, how's my booth? And they'll just post pictures. They'll post pictures, and, like, every time I'm like, looks fine. What does it sound like? It's for audio. You, It doesn't matter how it looks. What matters is how it sounds, so just... You gotta record yourself so that we can hear, like, how it is. Otherwise, you're just kind of wasting everybody's time. Such... Ah, oh, it's so obnoxious, man. Like, I don't mind helping people, but it's like... You gotta be... No! Ah! No! There was a present! Oh, God. Is it gonna be out there when I get back? Oh, jeez. I hope it didn't despawn. Pro decorating license. Oh, hang stuff from the ceilings now. Hang a different type of wallpaper. Okay, okay. Use that, yes. Items for the ceiling. Cool, let me get that. Let me get that balloon. Ah! Yeah, that's the thing is like, I should do more streams about audio and stuff because I, I, I spend so much of my time explaining it to people and it's like, it'd be better just to consolidate it all into one place. Shoot, I think I missed that balloon. Dang it. Oh, well. Yeah, I mean, it's... It is very finicky. Like, the thing I always say is that audio either works or it doesn't. And you kind of just have to figure out a way to make it work. Sometimes you can do really cheap stuff and get it to work amazing, and sometimes you can do the most expensive stuff, and it still won't work, and it's hard to tell why. Whoops. That's one thing I gotta improve. You might have heard that just now. Um, one of the springs on my boom arm, uh, sproinged, and that's, that's not good. I need to get a better boom arm, basically. This is like a cheapo $30 one, and it just, it makes too much noise moving around. It's too squeaky in the springs. It's not good. Um, I really need to use the restroom, so I'm gonna be right back. But don't go anywhere. Don't touch the iron tile. Be right back with more Animal Crossing in just a minute.
All right, I'm back. Uh, I think I'll probably go for like another half hour, round it out to two, get some other stuff done. Let's see. Uh, I think uh, let's redesign my island flag. It's been a while. I think that'd be fun. Got the the pill bug, which is pretty cute, but I think I could uh, I think I could improve on that. Let me in, Isabel. Isabel the beard. Okay, there we go. Here she comes. Oh, Iggy, it's great to see you. Oh yeah. As I said in the broadcast, we can now enact an ordinances, special rules that change things about the island. The others and I decide that, as our resident representative, you should be in charge of our ordinances. This means you can enact or dismiss any ordinance to try to make life here on Candy Isle easier. Whenever you want to talk about ordinances, just let me know that you want to review island features. Now then, how can I help you today? Let's... Review island features. Is there anything specific you'd like to talk about? Change the flag. You like to submit a new design for the flag? Great! Let's see what you come up with. Alright. New flag. We're gonna go with a new design. <coughs> Whoops. Nope. I, I remember now. You gotta design it separate and then give it to her. Yep. Hold on. I messed up. Please don't hesitate to ask. No, it'd be here. Custom designs, there we go. Uh, ooh, okay. You now have 50 additional slots for both regular custom designs and pro designs. Cool. Uh, cannot edit custom designs with that. Sure. Change design. There we go. Let's see, tool. Um, let's just delete everything. Cool. Keep editing. Tool, okay. So I think I'm gonna stick with the pill bug, but we're gonna, gonna do it more like a, more like a rounded sort of thing. Make him a little Chonky, you're up front. Looks pretty good. In fact, let me build tool. Perfect. Wait, nope, keep editing. Hmm. So we wanna make a little more crescent. Not too crescent, though. And go with a little lighter. Actually, we'll go darker. This pleases me. Uh, oops. Maybe a pixel there. And, nope. Keep editing. How do I... Well, I guess there's no race. Let me actually switch to the, uh, other color. 
That's more like it. Hmm. Let's sort of smooth them out. Okay. And then give him some legs. Nice. And get yeah, put a couple highlights on here. Uh actually. Let's do those a little further in. Hmm. No, not quite. Yeah. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Let's give him a nice background. Um, fill. Something yellow? Not quite yellow. Orange. Orange seems nice. Let's go with a heart stamp. Do one yellow, one sort of pink. Yes. Should probably fill in this negative space up here. You know what? I will give it kind of a a bokeh effect. A little bit of a little bit of red. Nice. And... Yeah, Ooh, maybe... Maybe one little... Last little dot right down here. Yeah! Hmm. Well, hold on, let me smooth that out, I think. Be actually more like this. No. Well, thinking about it. Oh, I think that's fine. New flag. There we go. Ooh. I have another work thing. Another twenty ish seconds. Hmm. 
Did I get it? I did not get it. Oh, well. Can't get them all. Or could I? I mean, if I tried, I probably could. TBH. All right. Or well. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Um, view island features, yes. Change the flag. Like to submit a new design for the flag? Great! Let's see what you came up with. Oh my, Iggy, it's perfect in every way! It truly captures the essence of Candy Isle. From this point forward, your design will be our new flag. Thank you for your submission. Can't help you with anything else? I'm good. All right, then, if there's anything I can assist you with in the future, please don't hesitate to ask. Pants. Skirt. Coat. Flooring. Now my pockets are full. Well, let's talk to Nook about uh, storage real quick. Ah, Iggy, hello, hello. This is the construction consultation counter. How can I help you, hmm? About my home. Time to talk about your home, huh? What shall we discuss? Ready to expand your home storage yet again? Yes, yes, of course. Should be said again, the greater the expansion, the greater the complexity, the greater the cost. Like last time, you cannot take a loan to cover the fee, so you'll need to pay 700,000 bells in advance. Do you want to pay that? Gotta pull out the money. Yes, yes, take your time and think it over. It's quite a large expense. Come back any time. Is there anything else I can help you with? Hmm? I'm good. Of course, of course, I'll be here when you need me. Alright, let's run home, empty my pockets, and then go pay for that. Oh, goodness gracious. that. Alright, let's go pay. Pick up the other stuff. Another one. Can I get this one? All right. Let me just do a couple things while I wait on that. Okay. Got to pull out the money. Hello, hello. Whoop. Three, two, one. Think. Did I get it? Nope. Oh well. I've gotten like eight today. My goal. My goal is fifteen a day on average, but it's like I had a busy few days ahead, so should be fine. All right, let me pull out the monies. Let's 
let's say 750. Well, 7, 40, 6, 3, 80. Oh, that's all I can hold. Um, okay. Uh, let me just go. There we go. Max I can hold. Should be fine. Alright, let's go pay for the new storage. About my home. Expand. Yes, let's do it. Excellent. I'll start on the paperwork for the expansion right away. I believe they'll have everything finished by tomorrow morning. Oh, this is so exciting. Heck yeah. All right. I think, honestly, I think that'll do it for today. My voice is starting to get pretty roughed up, so I want to be sure to rest that, but let's just hang out beneath the new flag. As I uh, thank you guys. All right. Let me uh, switch to face cam. Hello. Ah, thank you very much for choosing Iggy Kid Twitch Streams as your streaming entertainment. I know you have a lot of options when it comes to streaming entertainment nowadays, so I'm glad that you chose me. So uh, please follow, subscribe if you can, use your Twitch Prime sub, connect your Amazon Prime account, you get a free sub a month, use it on me. I know you will. Appreciate it. Yep. Yeah, thanks for tuning in, Evil. Hope to see you again another time. I'm going to stream again on Saturday. Um, later than I usually do, because I got some stuff going on that day, but I'm going to do some more Mario Party. Should be fun, so tune in for that, everybody. Check out the Twitch Archive channel, which is linked down below. Uh, check out my personal YouTube, Iggy and the Ape. Check out the Discord. Join up. Have some fun. You can post your, you know, self-promotional stuff there. I don't mind. Go for it. And, uh, stay stinky. You stay stinky too, bud. All right. But, uh, yeah, follow me on Twitter, at IggyDKid, all of those things. Hope to see you guys later. I'll figure out who to rage you over to in just a minute, but, hey, I hope you enjoyed the stream. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and if no one else has told you this, I'll tell you this. You're a good kid. Thanks for watching, everybody. Let's figure out who to raid over to. Who's available right now? Hold on, I'm gonna switch over here, as I usually do. Oop, come on, come on. Change to the last message. There we go. All right. Is somebody doing Animal Crossing? Wolf is doing Animal Crossing. All right, let me make sure I can spell his name right. Two Fs, one seventeen. Gotcha. All right, we'll turn him on. Don't turn him on too loud. All right, all right. Let me type in the command. Yep, gotta get through the ad. Slash raid. Wolf thunder. Whoops. Forgot to put a space. Hold on. Hold on, I know how to do this. Thunder 117. There we go. All right, should go over in just a minute. Let him know I sent you. Have a great rest of your day, everybody. Hope to see you on Saturday or sometime during the weekend. Okay, goodbye. 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 <laughs>